Today's episode is sponsored by Dance of Gamers. Dance of Gamers is the leading distributor of video games and other consumer gadgets like the podcast microphone sets, ring lights, headphones, and affordable smart watches, and many other cool gadgets. For these and more, visit their website at www.danceofgamers.co. That is www.danceofgamers.co. Mujebale, mujebale, mujebale. My name is Barney Kibuka, and welcome to another episode of the Ugandan Ball Talk Show. Welcome to the 100th episode on the Ugandan Boy Talk Show podcast. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Some people have told me that it's weird when I say the Ugandan Boy Talk Show podcast because a talk show is kind of like podcast, but I feel like they go they go along. So I'll, I'm going to stick with that and I go with that. Um, yeah, there's some people who don't like it, but I don't really care for it. But anyway, welcome to another podcast recording Um on on the Uganda Boy Talk Show. It's been a long time ever since I wanted to record a podcast sitting down on the couch. Um, All my friends that I've talked to, I was like, I watched this cool podcast on YouTube where they have their podcast, like, guys are just sitting down. And I'm like, I want that because I feel like I talk better when I'm sitting down on the couch. So I was like, you know what? For my 100th episode, I'm going to, get a couch in my podcast room and just sit down. And I might start doing this with all my guests because I'm tired of sitting on the uh, chair and on the desk because I feel so comfortable sitting on the couch. For for those of you who are not seeing me or who are not or who are listening on Spotify, I'm actually sitting on a comfy couch in my room and recording a 100th episode. I'm just relaxing because I've, I've worked myself hard to get to get to this. But um, yeah, I was just saying like I'm so thankful that I made a hundred episodes. You know, it's crazy when I started the podcast. I was I didn't even know I was gonna get to a hundred episodes because I was like, oh, let me just try. Actually, today I was playing the my first ever episode, and I think I'm gonna try to get it in this if I can get it. But I was playing it today, and I'm like wow i've come from far but the good thing actually i liked about it is every goal that i mentioned in my introduction i've stuck to that i've stuck to the goal and i've not deviated from what i said that i'm going to be doing on the podcast and i've brought all the the guests on here and i've done that so today i just wanted to come back i don't even remember the last time i was on the podcast uh the last time i was on the podcast with my episode, I don't even remember the last episode I did um, with just me. So that's crazy. But I always like um, oh, coming on the podcast and just record and talk to the people, you know. Oh, yeah. It's not like actually that for 80. So 10 episodes ago, I was on the podcast by myself. Um, I like to come on here and just talk to the listeners. I talk to the people or share about what I I feel how the podcast is going and all the good stuff. So this 100th episode is special because I'm going to try to recap a lot of things that have gone, have happened on the podcast so far till to this point. And without missing, everybody knows like we won the award. That's so cool. That's one of the coolest thing of winning the award in Uganda. That boosted my motivation. It helped me and shout out to uh, Pulse Uganda for nominating me and giving me this opportunity to showcase my podcast out to people. And for the people that voted, I appreciate a lot. I know I've thanked you in the recent episodes that I've done, but I can't thank you less. I'll thank you and thank you and thank you because that means a lot to me and uh, that boosts me. So to be here and talk about my 100th episode, it means it means a world to me and that's the boots my motivation, like I've already said. So we, to start this 100th episode, I'm going to try to go back from my first episode. And the first episode I actually did was an introduction. I was trying to introduce what I'm going to do on the podcast. So for those of you who have just who jumped into my podcast on the later episode, I'm going to give you a recap of this 100th episode. I'm going to try and see 
I'm going to go through all of them. I might not talk a lot, but I'm going to talk a little bit about each episode. And if you catch any episode that catches your attention, you might go back and revisit it. But the first one, I did an introduction of what I want to talk about on the podcast. I basically just, it's like a roadmap. This is what we're going to be doing. And that's literally what I did. It's not very really long. Um, it was just straightforward. So with my next episode, which I named actually episode one, that was me sharing my story because I felt like I wanted to open up myself, my story to the listeners to know who I am. And I mentioned that in that episode that I want people to know who I am so that in the later episodes, they can relate to my story. And if you don't know my story and you've been listening to the later latest episodes, you might want to visit episode one. Uh, you're going to hear about my story, a little bit of myself. And I talk about some of the stuff uh, in the later episodes. Um, so then the second one, I talk about my journey from Uganda to America, because a lot of people have been asking me about my journey from Uganda to America, like how I did the transition. So I talk about that story. And that story is long that it was a continuation in episode three. So episode three, I finish up the story of that. And episode four, I bring my very first guest, guest uh, shout out to Edith Naigaga. She was my very first guest on the podcast. And for those of you who don't know, Edith inspired me to start a podcast because I listened to her podcast on now. Uh, on, on Spotify. I was like, wow. And her podcast at that time was uh, Uganda to America. She was talking about her story and journey. Um, but it inspired me. I'm like, yeah, actually, I can do that. I can talk about my experience too and my stories. And that's why I had her on the podcast. Uh, we talk about our childhood uh, similarities with Edith. Um, she's a PK. For those of you who don't know what a PK is, a pastor's kid. And she's also like, my her mom is Kenyan. And her dad is Ugandan, which my mom is Kenyan, that is Ugandan. So in that episode, we kind of relate on how our lives are similar and what we went through. So that would be good for you to go listening to see how pastor's kids were talking talking about that and having two countries, like being half cast, half Kenyan and half Ugandan. So that was a cool episode. So my second guest was in episode five, I had Jesse Tenes. This was a cool one because Jesse was one of one of my very first friends that I met when I came to the United States um, back in 2016. We met and he brought me to Washington, D.C. and I get to know him. So we talked a little bit about that. Uh, Jesse is an artist. He's a U.S. based uh, Ugandan artist and he sings um, Christian music and he's a very good artist. Uh, I've actually had him twice. On the podcast so he will show up in the next episodes too um so episode six episode six i have my brother nyanzi dennis nyanzi dennis he was talking about his life mostly every time i host a guest on the podcast they talk about their lives but i also don't stop at their lives um i ask them about other things and other things that come up in the in our conversations so he talked about his family uh, taking care of 2,000 kids. And that's something that I relate with too because my family decided to take care of girls in a community, in our community. So I was asking him about that. Um, he said at that time he was in the U.S. and I think now he's in Uganda, but he talked about his life in the U.S. And for those of you out there who want to know how life is in the U.S., most of my friends from Africa – I asked them about that, so their experience in, in the U.S. So he talked about that too and his life back in Uganda and some of the things you guys can relate uh, with. So that was another cool episode. And I think I have Nyanzi again with another uh, organization or some sort of um, campaign that I hosted them about. Um, so episode seven, I did a QA. and a uh, people ask me a lot of questions. I've I've not done a lot of those in a while, uh, but people ask me questions and I answer them on the podcast. So if you want to know what people ask me, you can go and visit that episode and uh, and and check them out. Episode eight, I host my brother Robert Machuki. Robert Machuki, he's from Kenya. He lives in Durham, North Carolina. 
Uh, he's a good friend to me. Uh, we talk about how we met. And also, Robert also comes back again somewhere because he's my good friend. And almost, you'll remember when I'll, t- I'll get to it. But when I was in Orlando, my birthday, Robert was one of the friends that was on that uh, podcast recording. But in this one, we talk about our lives, how we became friends and Robert's life, uh, what he's doing and his childhood life. So Robert talks about his story. I like to bring people to talk about their stories because I feel like somewhere, somehow, somebody can relate to someone's life, you know. And that's why I like the most, like, bringing people to just share their stories. And I like that. So Robert talks about his life, uh, his struggles. And we touch a little bit about post-election violence. And, uh, yeah, that's a touchy story. And he was on the other side of it. And then episode nine, I host my friend Mariam Gildashville. And she's from Georgia. And I met Mariam in america she was a uh, foreign exchange student from georgia the country not georgia the state that's the mistake i did when i first met her i thought she was from georgia uh, the state but she was like no there's a country called georgia and we actually talk about that in uh, in this episode and mariam talks about her life um, as a foreign exchange student in the united states uh, what she went through some of the things she liked in the united states and some of the challenges she had so again for people or foreign exchange students who want to come to the United States, or even if you're Ugandan and you're not a foreign exchange student and you want to come to America, this was another episode, a good episode uh, to check out and learn uh, learn from that. So episode 10 came around the time when Uganda was going to have their elections. And uh, in that, I talk about my message to the people uh, about voting in Uganda and uh, people to take care of my fellow youth, people to watch out for the things and people to go out and vote because we have a right to go and vote. So I sent my message out. And I think part of that was in Luganda. So for the people who think I don't know how to speak Luganda, you might want to go visit that episode, uh, episode 10 and listen to my Luganda because I think I spoke a lot of Luganda in that one. And it was a request from one of my friends. Episode 11, I host my college friends, um, Jay Jones, Jay Quinn Jones, and Quinton Howard. Uh, We recorded this at Jay Jones' house, and he hosted us for this one. It was a cool episode because these, like, are my brothers, and uh, we went to college together. We're kind of just talking about our college life. So if you want to know how Bonnie was in college or how Jay Quinn was in college, uh, we talk about Everything we did in college, we all played sports. So we had this competition question of, like, who was the GOAT in college? But uh, two of them played basketball, and they all played soccer. But I only played soccer. But obviously, one of the guys who played basketball, Jay Jones, Jay Queen Jones, and obviously, he claims he's the GOAT. But, I mean... On the other hand, you can't you can't deny it because he was all American and all the good stuff. So shout out to Jack Quinn, uh, the GOAT. Uh, and he has his jersey retired. Oh, man. Yeah, you're the GOAT, brother. Now I settled that, uh, I settled that debate. You win because you have your jersey retired. But also, I also have my jersey here, sir. So it's not retired at the school, but it's retired in my office. <laughs> Uh, so uh, episode 12 I host my good friend actually he's a counsel he's a lawyer in Uganda and we kind of talk about election in Uganda we were just debating on what's going on in Uganda I wanted to pick his insights on what's going on in Uganda and to educate us uh, because I wasn't on ground so I wanted to know what actually is taking place there and what he expected in the elections that took place on the 14th of January in 2021 so I hosted him for that. Um, and we talked about uh, Bobby Wine. We talked about Museveni. We talked about all the political and legal matters that were taking place in Uganda. And then after elections, I came back with another episode and talking about what had happened after the election or what's next or where is Uganda going now. So those were some cool political 
episode that I gave my intake on that. If you want to know, or if you want to hear my intake on on that, you can go check them out. Episode thirteen, um, episode fourteen. I have my brother Sema Kula. Uh, Sema Kula. He's called his stage name. This is Sema. Uh, he's an upcoming artist, and he was talking about his musical journey, his life. I like to support artists too because I like music and young talents. And my created this podcast to create a platform for the young talent to support the young talent and to support organization to support anybody that has anything. That's why on my podcast I bring models, I bring musicians, I bring content creators. It's just a platform to just bring out these talents, like what people have, you know, like share other people's talents. So I brought uh, Sema Kula, or oh, this is Sema, with his new song. Actually, he released his brand new song on my podcast. Um, uh, what was the name of the song? Let me see. I did not mention the, the name of the song. But yeah, we, we played his song, and you can go check it out. Episode 15, I host Unique Dawson. Unique Dawson... Um, at the time, she was, uh, actually, she's still, but she's been a big impact in um, Al- Albertville, Alabama. Um, she's a black woman fighting for justice in her small town in Alabama. She shared her cool story. Actually, you all need to go and check out this episode. I feel like most of you had not discovered my podcast when it, it aired, but her story is cool on how she decided to go and abolish uh fight for racism and fight for the black people in america um most of you people who are not in america you might not know how bad it or may hear but here is somebody who was on the front line of um fighting for justice for people in her home home country so i felt like that was a cool story and i wanted to have her on the podcast so that was cool though that we had her on here um I came back on the podcast to share what was on my heart. And this episode 16, I was talking about you're not defined by where you come from. So a lot of people, especially the the area where I was at that time, they were defining me for who I was. And because I came from a third world country, they think you can't do anything. They, They judge you basing on where you come from. But I, I talk about this. I'm like, you're not defined by where you come from. You might be coming from a poor country or a third world country, but that doesn't define who you are. So I was talking about that. And that's a good one too to go check out. Um, And most people forget that even us, like even if you're out there and you came from like a poor family, that doesn't define who you are. You You can change the narrative of that. So don't let anybody judge you from where you come from. And don't let where you come from judge who you are. That's the other thing too. Like you're better than that and you'll be better. Just keep on pushing yourself. Episode 17, I bring my brother, uh, Daniel Moxie. Most of you in Uganda, you know this guy. He's a photographer. And I happen to go to school with this guy. And I call him my the Uganda's best photographer. Moxie was here sharing his journey and some of our high school memories because I went to high school with him and I asked him about um, his photography career and that's a cool episode too episode 17 go look for it um episode 18 I come back on to share a story that was so touching and so sens- sensitive to a lot of people especially people who were in the time in 2007 the post election violence in Kenya I share my story because I happened to be in that I happened to be in Kenya when that happened. So I shared my uh, toughest point of my life. I feel like that was my toughest point in my life. And it still is uh, surviving through that and watching everything that was going on. So that was a really touching episode. Um, Episode 19, I host my brother, Terry Stalker. I went to college with him. He has a really cool story about his life, his family. And he he didn't know he was adopted till he was older. And but that shows you like he the people who adopted him took really good care of him that he didn't even know he was just adopted. He found that out later, long later on in his life. Um, so he shares about his story. 
episode 20, I bring another college friend from Costa Rica, Maria Paula. Shout out to you, Maria Paula. Um, and most of people, I don't know, we had a good time with her in, in America. She shares about her time in the United States. And those are some of the other stories I like to. I want to hear other people's life in the United States. So that's why I keep bringing them on the podcast. And here she shares about how she joined the military school um, in in America, when she came, she came to Plesak in America. That was a cool story, too. I bring back Robert Machuki for the life of uh, an African child. We talk about Africa. I then did another Q&A in episode 22, uh, questions and answers. I bring my friend Vicente uh, to talk about COVID. At the time we went COVID, and he happened to get COVID pneumonia. So we discuss about what he went through and how he survived. Um, also, I brought back Edith Naigaga to share about her mental health. And the title of this episode was, Did You Heal or Did You Just Force Yourself to Forget? She went through some trauma in her life and she opens up and shares that on my podcast, which I really appreciate. It's hard for people to open up about things like that, but she did. And um, so I was thankful for that. And I, I had her on the podcast share that. I bring my cousin my cousin uh hillary bay uh he comes on here to talk about the story how he moved to europe with only 200 euros in his pocket he was from kenya and he moved to um germany and he talks about his journey he only had 200 euros to survive on and that was another cool story 27 i have a recap of my no behind the scenes of my nice um, in my journey to America. I bring John Hewlett. He's a good pillar in my life. He has helped me a lot. He helped me throughout my journey in the United States. So you want to check that out to see how he helped me through that. Um, recap of my vacation in Uganda. That was a good episode, 27. I uh, When I went back to Uganda, I interviewed some of my cousin about their dreams. I also have my mom on the podcast, uh, episode 29. I interviewed my dad with all the uh, 58 abandoned girls that he's taking care of in episode 30. Uh, I also interviewed my cousin Lincoln about carrying on his mom's legacy, who was a, a cook, and he's he wants to do that too. Uh, I bring Terry Stoker back in episode 32 to talk about the culture shocks in Uganda in the perspective of America. So we both talk about the culture shocks after what he saw. He has never been to Uganda, but from what I've told him and what he has seen, he was kind of relating those lives. A lot of people had asked me about how I ended up in the United States to do aviation. So I made a special episode, episode 33, on my journey uh, to do aviation. Episode 34, I bring Quicks, Kachumbali, to come and talk about his journey and his music. Most of you have heard the song Kakiumbali. So Quicks was on the podcast to do that. And that was a good one. We bring another topic. Is college education worth it? Or college is a scam? That's a good topic. And there are people on both sides. People who benefited from college and people who did not. So I bring back my college friends. Terry Stoker, Jay Jones, Danny Boyga. And Quinton missed out on that. And then, episode 36, I bring my brother, uh, Buka Chimi, uh, a singer of I Don't Know Who Don't Know. So Buka Chimi was on the podcast, and he shared about his story. Uh, he's a multi-award winning recording performer. Most of you remember him on Beer After Beer. Episode 37, we did uh, an, a recording for 10K for Autism. That was the uh, fundraiser or something that was um, going on for kids with autism in Uganda. My birthday in Orlando, that was episode 38. Uh, challenges of a uh, girl child in Uganda with Jocelyn Luzige, with my good friends too, was on podcast. Uh, I brought Elijah Love to talk about the kids in the slums of Uganda, and that's episode 40. I brought my friend Elias Usindi to talk about how he was in asylum for 12 years, and episode 42 was a continuation because his story was long. Episode 43, I bring a friend of mine, Akuru Ruth, who was born with HIV, and she was talking about her journey, how she has lived with HIV. Episode 44, I will bring our very own 
Olive Onaka kindly to talk about her journey to Miss Uganda. That was cool uh, to have her on the podcast. It was one of my favorite. Uh, rec- I mean, all of them I've shared were really good. But yeah, we had Olive on here talk about her journey um, as Miss Uganda in episode 44. And then I met a friend in Orlando, uh, Clarence Pratt, who came to talk about how he fled from Liberia to America because of the war that happened in Liberia. Uh, that was a, a cool episode. I come back on the podcast solo. Uh, you're not in competition with anyone else. And a lot of people have talked about that, being in competition, comparing yourself to other people. Episode 47, I bring Tata Musa, uh, who does folk tales with uh, tales from Uganda. Most of you have seen this. Um, he brings back the old folk tales. I get those twice. I get angry. 48, I bring Dorin Kabarebe, who is a, a, a fashion model and a branding coach. Most of you Ugandans know our very own Dorin Kabarebe. And if you want to listen to her story too, it's on episode 48. Um, we did a courage life with my roommate, Nicholas Jones. I uh, bring back Jesse again to talk about his music and how he ended up on the billboards of uh, Times Square. Pastor Wilson Bugembe came on the podcast to talk about his funeral, his life, which was a funeral after funeral. That's why he calls it. Uh, I bring Extreme on 52 to talk about his music. I bring Sharon Chiyimba, who is one of the Uganda's youngest model, to talk about her journey as a model. Celebrated one year, November 13th. Uh, it's coming up pretty soon. And then we did, uh, I hosted another friend who is my wife's friend, uh, Britton Jacobson. Uh, she does an outreach ministry in um, the sex industry. Um, she brings these girls from the streets. I also brought, I talked about my mental health. Uh, that was a solo, 56. I brought Mugabe David 57 to talk about cares for Georgia. He takes about he takes care of the elder people in Uganda. And then I bring one of the other models in Uganda, Jen Mokisa in 58. My cousin Laban made it on 59. He talks about his journey to America. And then I bring Dr. Jackie to talk about mental health after because I wanted somebody to come and explain about mental health. Um, and then episode 61 was a uh, part two. And then Oliver Nakakande comes back on the podcast. We were talking about the schools opening after two years of lockdown in Uganda. She gives her take on that and what she thought about it. And I bring back Jocelyn Luziga in 63 to to, uh, inspire um, girls and women in Uganda. One of Uganda's poets, too, made it to 64. And she talks about poetry in Uganda. And then I bring another friend of mine who we went to primary school with, Naba Nova Vivian, to talk about how she got HIV and she was just advising the other girls on uh, preventing HIV. One of my good friends, Mario P., uh, who also on the Valas podcast, he comes on the podcast on 66, and he talks about the impact of podcasting in Uganda. I bring Susan Owari, who was uh, doing a fundraiser to end violence against women, girls with disability in Uganda. That's 67. Educate yourself about personal finance with Tracy Akandinda on 68. That was good. Uh, living, as a, living an African lifestyle in the diaspora. Hope Mamboleo, 69. A disabled Children Ministry and Church Planting with Joseph Wallace and Beyond 70. And then my friend Elaine comes on to talk about making our environment greener together and how she has planted a ton of trees, which that was cool. And that's why I wanted her on the podcast to talk about that. Uh, another artist from Uganda, Sam Chimela, uh, talk about his music journey and how music took a central role in his house when he was in his home when he grew, was growing up. Oliver Nakakande comes back on the podcast. I think Oliver is a friend of the show. I I like her very much, and she has some good insights on the podcast, and she talks very nice. Most of you have seen her on um, Miss Grad, like when she gives her interviews, uh, her stories. And that's why I always want to pick her brains because she's smart and she has good things to talk about. So I sit down with her on this topic of uh, before you move to Dubai or if. I share also my experience before you move to the United States. So she advises girls and other guys before you move to Dubai. 
what you need to keep in mind. Um, I bring Nalu, Nalu Yombe, who wrote a book, How to Deal with Teenage Challenges and Make the Right Choices. Um, she talks about a teenage life and advises teenagers. I bring Joe Baraka to talk about my home stars. He has a board game. He made a board game for the kids in Uganda. We didn't grow up playing board games, but this he probably he made it and he's it's called My Home Stars and he made that and he explains why he picked my home stars. Episode seventy six I have Mochibi John. He talks about his life in Bangkok and Thailand, India, where all the places he's been to. And then I have Ray Vaughan. Most of you remember the song Angel. So I happened to get Ray Vaughan on the podcast. Talk about his collab with uh, Shaggy, where he sang the song uh, Girl, You're My Angel. So that was a cool episode too. 78, I bring Victoria to talk about her life, what her life was like, childhood life, and going to a single sex school in high school. And then Miss Inyang who started a liquor business in COVID. And I like to empower people who get innovative, like people who create stuff. So she talked about that. I come back on the podcast solo in 80, talk about who I, what I was versus what I was not. And just kind of to help people to remember that about what I was while getting to where I'm at today. I bring Taka on the podcast in 81 to talk about He's genetic in the United States. He's from Zimbabwe. So it was really cool to hear his story and how he ended up in the United States. And then Emma Kale, who is um, helping kids with art in Uganda with Faces Up Uganda on 82. I bring my brother Hakim K. And then we talk about redefining what it means to be a Ugandan diaspora in 83. And that was a continuation in 84. And then Mr. Musingu, who is one of the content creators in Uganda on episode 85, uh, I earned 800 on my first YouTube video. He talks about his journey, how he started earning on YouTube. These are things we didn't know when we were younger, but now people are making money off these. So Mr. Musingu is one of them here to talk about that. Nabs R, who she never had a job ever since she got out of uh, high school and then she just started her own job. And she talks about, I got tired of applying for jobs, so I created my own. And she ends from that in 86. Uh, birthday episode in Orlando with my friends, 87. And I bring Gertrude to talk about uh, how 60% of the kids in Uganda are not able to read in third grade, which is a problem. It's a challenge. We need to be solved. And she's working on that. Episode 89, I bring my friend uh, Linda Talk about her life in UK, podcasting, and her top five best restaurants and foods in Uganda. Kobe Sinji Jacqueline talks about how her music healed her trauma and mental health. She's also a musician in, a musician in Uganda. Delik Wevali, who talks about his ghetto life and his music oh, in 91. And then I bring Ryan Kawesa, who is studying aviation in Russia, what he goes through and how life is like. From Zimbabwe with love, I bring Haman in 93. 94, I bring Party Central in um, He did a good job to talk about uh, uh, talk about how he records his cool videos on concerts in Uganda. And then uh, bring Chef Aaron ok Okuria, who is a chef in Uganda and talks about teaching people in Uganda how to to make food and how it wasn't viewed as a career but now people know that chefs make good money 96 DJ Victor who talks about his journey on how becoming a, a DJ and then money sent on 97 he talks about he initiated um an app and it's a money sending organ company it's actually a company and he's one of the innovators in Uganda. And he's young, though. He's young. Um, he went to high school with me, and he has a whole hub. 98, I bring pageantry. Uh, I bring Leah. Now, okay, I talk about her pageantry. Well, pageantry is different from modeling. And that was one of the recent. And then my latest one was Arthur Sozi. 
uh, who talks about art is a voice and he has done a good job uh, to do cartoons and all that. So I know it's been long. I know it's been uh, going through all these 100 episodes. So now this is the 100th one. It's been long to do a recap on that. But I did it mainly because I want people to kind of listen through it and then know what sticks out to you, that which you would want to go check out. But again, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank all of you for supporting me, for supporting my podcast. Uh, I wanted to do something different for the 100th episode. But I was like, you know, um, doing a recap will be better to just go through all the episodes I've done. I know it took a long time. But again, I want to thank you for supporting me. I want to thank you for loving me. And I want to thank you for listening in. We're going to keep growing and get this thing better. So I'm going to end it at that. But I want to thank you and everybody. So thank you very much and be blessed. Hey there, uh, this is Bonnie Kibuka, the host of the Ugandan Boy Talk Show. Thanks for watching and listening to my podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with a friend and recommend somebody to this podcast. Don't forget to leave a feedback on this podcast because that's how we grow. And also don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. Join us on our social media platforms on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. So we'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much and be blessed.